Howdy friendos of the world and welcome once again to my movie adventures. I'm Crazy Jason and tonight we're going to the Beast Best Buy to you uninitiated folks. Um, yes, uh, I've heard tell from a, a little source, a little birdie that chirps in my ear. Um, chirps rather shrilly at times and incessantly. Point being, um, there are $7 Blu-rays at Best Buy now. That's right. There's at least one that I'm definitely getting and I'm very excited about it. I've heard that there are some good titles um, at the $7 price point. That's right, $6.99. And um, they're not your usual sale titles, but uh, some really good, really good stuff in there. Okay, folks, Out of the Beast and a lot of great titles in there. Um, even beyond the $6.99 titles, I had some $9.99 titles that I was tempted on. Uh, top of my list was Platoon. Um, with a really nice slipcover for ten dollars. Um, am I sorry that I went ahead and bought Train Spotting when I could have gotten it for seven bucks, and I've already visually consumed it, so I can't return it? No. But uh, for those of you who have not, if you've been on the fence about Train Spotting, that's one that I can highly recommend as a blind buy, especially at that price point. Um, another one. Gangs of New York. Fantastic uh, deal on this movie. But you need to be very careful and look on the back. You look on the back here and the uh, the bottom right of the uh, packaging and you'll see that it says 2010 release. Apparently there was an earlier release and then they remastered it and released it again in 2010. So you definitely want to be careful. I miss the days when John C. Riley was a uh, dramatic actor. Oh God! Please get out of my fucking way! Can't you see I'm shooting a goddamn video here, huh? I'm doing important work. Well, well, well. I don't know what to say. While in Rome, right? While in Rome, that's what I'll say. Now, I, I did intend on restraining myself because uh, next Tuesday they are releasing. The Three Colors Trilogy and the Rules of the Game on Blu-ray. And um, I was going to wait until then. I have heard rumors that this is the last Criterion cell that they're even going to allow coupons on because the uh, system has been so abused. I mean, I like to stack coupons, but I don't abuse uh, the clerks at the counter. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, there's an $8 coupon that if you can force the manager to override it, it creates a great discount. I think it's sort of soiled, uh, how do you, what, what's, 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 what's the correct, uh, phrase? What's the correct analogy? They polluted the pond, um, peed in the toilet. They've, uh, they've poo-pooed all over our steaks. Um, they've defecated on our mother's heads. They've, um, shat upon the gold of our youth um, but I think the rampant abuse of coupons uh, that really don't apply um, has really pissed off a lot of people at Barnes and Noble so I mean I've stacked some coupons in my day but um, you know I, I try not to push it you know what I mean I try not to push it but uh, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to restrain myself, I think, and just try to get one thing off my wish list. So, we'll see. Okay, well, I'm out. Isn't it funny how uh, you think it's going to be easy to restrain yourself, but once you get in there, you find you have seven movies in your hands? I mean, um, here's the way I pared it down to one. Uh, I asked myself a very simple question. Which movie would I go home tonight and put in? Which movie do I want to see the most? And uh, the answer to that question for me tonight was Crumb, which is a fantastic documentary that I've been meaning to pick up for a very long time, for the last three or four Criterion sales. And I really look forward to revisiting this. So there you have it, folks. Crumb. 
No, crazy. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Save your money. My God, Black Friday is right around the corner. Why are you going into a fracking blockbuster right now? <sighs> I'm going to tell you why. It's, it's a very, very easy answer. Enough is enough. You know what I'm saying? Do you, do, 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 you, do you realize how close Black Friday is? I mean, it's so close that I can taste the turkey grease. You know what I mean? I, and, and I'm out here going to a fracking blockbuster, okay? Yeah, sure, I can get, uh, you know, whatever. I can get uh, Toy Story for $12.99. I can get Inglorious Bastards $10 with slipcover. So what? It's still going to be there, you know? I mean, who knows what Black Friday is going to hold? $3 Blu-rays, uh, $5 Blu-rays, uh, you know, I don't know. The point is, do I want to splooge all my money out right now at, at fracking Blockbusters and Walmarts just because it's 1030 at night and there's nowhere else to go? Or do I want to save my crusty couch pennies for Black Friday? I think you know the answer to that, folks. Can I control myself? Never mind the fact that we've got this criterion sale going on right now. You know, I mean, it's just, it's, it's overwhelming. I'm putting myself into bankruptcy. But you know what? It's worth it because it's fun and this is how you should live life. On the edge, gonzo, no regrets, all the way, baby. All the way. The madness never fracking ends. You know what? It's time for me to go to church. That's right. I've been a heathen for far too long. It's time for me to go and repent and pay for my sins. And will you please get out of my way? Oh, yeah. Just just keep walking. Yeah. Just walk straight. Just walk straight. Yeah. On your phone. You're the center of the fucking universe. Yeah. I have sinned for far too long, brethren. And for that... I beg your forgiveness. It is time for me to go to the Church of Cinema. That's right. And tonight at midnight, there is a showing of the new movie Immortals, which I've read mixed reviews about, but it's got Mickey Rourke, it's got Henry Cavill, the new Superman, and it's directed by Tarsum, who now has a last name that I will not attempt to pronounce. But, uh, yeah, he delivers striking visual images. Uh, for those of you who have seen The Cell or The Fall, you know what I'm talking about. Um, sounds like just a fun popcorn flick. The thing is, it, it's 3D. And, um, you know, I, it, for those of you who remember, I've sworn off 3D movies because they irritate my face. Okay, friendos, while well, I have purchased my tickets, and uh, there is no non-3D showing, so I said, you know what? Screw it. Give me the whole works. 3D, put me in the RPX theater. Give me the whole experience. Give me the headache-inducing vomitus. You know what I'm saying? Give me the vomitus bucket. Uh, that's probably only an extra 350 right there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go try to find a Walgreens so I can sneak in some candy. And what are you looking at, huh? You're the one without the glasses. All right, friendos, well, I am out of the temple. I have seen Immortals, and uh, I'm here to report that it's a, it's a good film. Uh, I was pleased, I was entertained, it was a good time at the theater. Um, not without its faults, though. Um, I did have uh, a good many faults with it, but in the end, it was entertaining. Um, if you wanna hear more of my thoughts. I've got uh, my review here. Just follow the link. But uh, yes, I think my time here is done. It is uh, 38 degrees outside. Wind chill factor of 30. I just pulled those numbers out of my ass. I have no idea what the temperature is. All I know is that it's frozen my balls solid. They are laden and about to drop off. So that'll do her. Thanks for riding along with me on my movie adventures, baby.